It was red and white day at the CPKC Women's Open and plenty of the world's best are in red figures heading into the weekend. But a stout test at Shaughnessy Golf and Country Club continues to unfold here in Canada. I'm Adam Stanley and this is LPGA Now. Let's get into it. Megan Kang, who just firmed up her spot on the Solheim Cup team, fired a tidy 6 under 66 on Friday in Canada, including a run of five straight birdies on her back nine to take the lead. Kang, who had three top 10 finishes at majors this season, said she's been comfortable with Shaughnessy, a major championship type venue. Chasing Kang includes a hearty group of some of the world's best. Lynn Grant, a winner already this season, she's in second and is one shot back at six under, while former world number one Jin Young Ko is at five under. Another former world number one Nelly Korda is inside the top five. Korda finished tied for second last season at the CPKC Women's Open and is looking to keep that mojo going this year. Nelly Korda, uh, a very excellent CPKC Women's Open last year. You're in the mix as well through 36 holes. What's maybe been working well for you so far? Um, just making putts, um, hitting it pretty good the first uh, two days and giving myself some opportunities and I've been able to capitalize on some of them. How about this golf course? Obviously a, a, a stout test out here so far this week. Yeah, it's very narrow. Um, greens are very small, very firm, um, and they're fast too. So, you know, if you land it on the green, uh, it releases about 15 to 20 yards, but if you land it just short, it's, it sticks. So it's a pretty hard test. It's definitely a ball striking golf course, but at the end of the day, you gotta get it in the hole, so. After a tough opening round, Brooke Henderson recovered extremely well with a four under 68 on Friday. The Canadian's bogey-free effort was highlighted by a chip in birdie on her 10th hole of the day. And now Henderson, the winner of the CPKC Women's Open in 2018, is back in the conversation once again in her home country. Yeah, I'm super excited to be playing the weekends. Um, hopefully I can just continue to climb the leaderboard and, and move up a little bit. Um, yeah, I needed a, I needed a confidence boost, um, you know, after the last few weeks and after yesterday. So this feels good and, you know, hopefully just continue on and, uh, you know, keep pushing. So it's a tightly bunched leaderboard here in Canada, and that means it's still anyone's tournament. Catch all the action on Golf Channel and Peacock starting at 7 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. And as always, come back right here to watch LPGA Now.